pressure maybe on it? Um, you know, when something is called out, you know, you, you do want to push it. You don't want to push it alone. You want to push it with someone so that if you do die, <clears throat> sorry, if you do die, then someone can refrag you and you essentially you're just down to a 4v4 if it was a 5v5. And so that's something that, you know, a lot of teams have to work on. And that's essentially how you clear out roamers. You don't, you don't want to die, but if you do, you want someone else there to get that kill. Looking like what, uh, what I brought up earlier, Toilet bringing out the Nomad into this round for people who don't understand Nomad, maybe they're new to this. What are some abilities that Nomad has to give her some uh, good advantages? So Nomad, uh, her ability is essentially to place a charge or a air jab on a door, window, hole, anywhere essentially on the map. And it sits there until the operator runs in the vicinity of the air jab. And once you deploy it, you'll see the, you'll see the vicinity. Um, so if an operator runs in the vicinity of the air jab, you will get knocked back kind of like you got um, pretty much picked up by a tornado and thrown. It kind of looks like it. Okay. And uh, so you'll be l on your back and it gives you a couple seconds to peek around the corner and get that kill. And it's just a cut off run out. So if you'll hear it. It's like a <clears throat> sound. You'll hear it when someone runs out or anything like that. So it, it's just intel, essentially. St. Clair will be holding bomb site up on the top floor this time. Round one in Attackers the books, starting up right now. Let's see how uh, St. Clair, you know, maybe they can get a, their first round on the board. Let's, or uh, let's, maybe uh, Rutgers University will continue their dominance. Imagine roaming in servers downstairs. We have Montaigne pushing in, the Pulse C4 coming out, but getting nothing right now. Let's see if uh, the Pulse actually makes it out. So they don't even frag the Pulse. That's good, good, uh, good job on uh, Duzzy to get out of there. Now they are in Sunrise, so they do have Sunrise Control, which is pretty much crucial in attack. But, you know, Duzzy, du getting out of that alive is really, really good because, you know, that's still a gun that he has. And so, as you can see, their drones are, you know, kind of scurrying around. And Buddy e holding an angle inside of Blue Bar. And this Vigil, you know, imagine playing in Blue Bar, waiting to get the kill. Sees the Montane, pre-fires Montane, but I don't believe he knows is there. Rapid taking out the IQ. So early pick going to St. Clair. So Duzzy is now rotating down, trying to help Imagine, you know, pushing back up the stairs. You know, they're holding this this Sunrise Sunrise push pretty well. They have two stuck in Sunrise. So essentially they have half the team stuck in Sunrise. As you can see, that Nomad just fell. And it, it pushed back Imagine. So they're going to try and hold this for even longer. Does he looking like he's about to push in, see if he can pick this Montane? But Montane looks like looks like he's ready for it. Oh yes, holding that tight corner, followed up by um, I'm pretty sure that's a Nomad back there. But the Yokai drone putting in some shots down. So Zofia and Montane are gonna push out of Sunrise. They're gonna set up the Claymore and just you know boycott that site now. Now they're gonna push Blue Bar, Blue Window. So we'll see how you know Nomad can push behind and oh. Buddy. Buddy taking out Imagine in Blue Bar. So Blue Bar control going into uh, Rutgers University. They're not even going to put it up to push in. They're going to go around. Oh, yes. Setting up up top for the uh, the bar push. I'm pretty, pretty sure that's bar. Hookah. Hookah. Yeah. And so, you know, look, at, there's there was about 45 seconds left for when Imagine died. So essentially, that is what a roamer wants to do. Waste as much time as possible. And Attack Habana and Montaigne on the hookah balcony, trying to get that hookah push down. But there is someone sitting on main stairs, as well as behind the hookah bar. So somebody in hookah doesn't, maybe, not noticing that Buddy taking out Rapid. And Montaigne is spot out, so the Jaeger going to take out the stun. And I think they understand that there's a presence in hookah right now. Miss Nautica taking out Toilet. Buddy refragging Miss Nautica and Buddy taking out JM Beast. So... Now it's a 1v1 situation. Does he taking out two characters and he wins the round with time? Yeah, so smart play on Duzzy after he took out the two the two frags. He took them out and just sat behind the couch. He knew he had time. He knew that the 
that Zofia was in the other site and could not make it to him in time, and just wasting that time was was good on good on his part. Buddy, top fragging on his team with four kills in that round. I know it's only the first round, but he's the only one on their team that got kills. So, props to him for uh, trying to do his all for that to get that round. But does he coming out on top, giving Saint Clair their first round of this match? So yeah, you see what I mean when roamers do their job. Imagine didn't have to get a kill to make them push fast. When you push fast, you start making mistakes. And essentially, they made mistakes. You know, it did get down to a 1v1 really, really quickly. But they won the round. We have, instead of a Montane, oh yes, taking out the Twitch. So I, th I think they saw the uh, the Jaggers taking out the stuns so much they didn't have time to push in because they had to wait for their stuns to go off. The, the Jaeger was just causing them problems. They want to take out those drones with the Twitch drone. And I, I think that's a really good pick on uh, Rutgers University side. It's very good adapting to what they struggled with last round. And... How are we gonna do this? We see uh, we see kitchen being held this time for St. Clair on the first floor. This is, you know, hookah and, and billiards is essentially the default site. Uh, between teams, it, it could swap around, but essentially it's hookah, billiards, Attackers kitchen service, and then penthouse, and then the double bar. Double bar is iffy, but, you know, holding this site is essentially a little bit harder, but the roam presence by Imagine upstairs on the vigil. We've got Duzzy playing in Sunrise uh, again. And, uh, sorry, Rapid is going to play in Blue Bar, it looks like. So the Nomad is going to probably be placed all, at all the runouts for push the roamers. So IQ seeing the vigil on her IQ scanner. Imagine taking oh. out Buddy off the grapple. So, and that's another pick on another grapple player. So imagine with a double kill on IQ. So I, I feel like imagine, because I didn't hear any windows break. So I feel like imagine on that first kill just sprayed through a window and got a kill. And then and then uh, at the end on the IQ, just saw the, the bullet trace and sprayed and got a kill. So him being a roamer and getting two kills is really, really big for his team. A surprise to imagine, but a welcome one that is... And here we go, Nomad looking like she's about to push in. She's putting down her drone inside there, waiting for the push. Imagine going for the frag, almost getting another frag, but he gets knocked down, it looks like. Uh, very strong presence in the uh, upper upper uh, level of the building for Rutgers University. Toilet taking out JM Beast on site, spraying through the floor. So, as you can see, Vigil is still downed, and they do not know. Rapid is on the main stairs, and, you know, now they're going to get picked up. Now it's going to be a 4v3. So, they're going to have Imagine staying alive, and that upstairs presence is going to be hard to contest, but they do look like they have it under control. Slain Clair doing really well to keep Imagine up. I don't think uh, Nomad realized that he uh, they got the down. Uh... Imagine Peak staying close to the corner to get away and Rapid doing a good job to go and get him. So Imagine is going to hold upstairs still as hard as he can. Does he get oh, yes, killed taking in out Duzzy's sunrise? Oh yes, taking out Imagine too. That's a double kill for Oh Yes. And here we go as they're going to go in to take sight. We got Miss Nautica on smoke delaying the push a little bit. Miss Nautica getting flashbang out. Nomad kind of flashes herself, so they're gonna just oh yes, get oh, one kill. Miss Nautica gets a frag, but it's refragged by oh yes, and it's a one on one on two situation for Rapid. Ten seconds left. Rutgers University going for the plant. Rapid is gonna try and flank around through Attackers bathroom here and see if he can get any picks that he can. They looks like they're peeking the main door, so it doesn't really look like they're peeking him. Oh, they were peeking him, so they got the one kill. Now, Thermite is outside, and he's going to be holding. He's not going to be holding an angle. So we'll see if he can get the kill, or if he can just defuse. One-on-one -on -one situation for Rapid. Let's see how he can take this. So he's going to try and get the defuse off here. Thermite gets the kill, the kill, and St. Clair takes round two of the match.
two in a row. St. Clair with a strong start. They're looking hot in game two. So very, very well played by, by Rapid. You know, he d goes for the counter defuse, knows that that Thermite's going to peak and gets off the defuse and pre-fires that window, getting the kill. Thermite trying his hardest to sprint past that window, but does not make it out alive. Not to mention Miss Nautica holding that kitchen spot, getting that 1-1 one, one, one frag on site to give Rapid that situation, that 1v2 situation. Yeah, Miss Nautica getting that frag really did put her, or sorry, put the team in a, a, a good spot. Instead of a 1v3, it is a 1v2. So all he really had to do was pick off two people. But, you know, it is it is hard to do. Props to Rutgers University, though, bringing it back down to a 1v2 after Imagine gets that double kill right at the start. Very well played by them. Yeah, they did. They they slowed their their push down a little bit. They did have to push with very very minimal seconds left, but they pushed. They they slowed their push down and they took it back. And it looks like Thatcher coming out instead of the Habana. They're switching it up, and Mira comes out instead of the Echo. What that is, I like to see that. I used to be a Mira man. Excited to see her get played. Mira, I believe they're gonna go penthouse here. Yeah, they're in penthouse. So Mira is. It's pretty uh, good on this site, so we'll see how JMB's plays her on this site. There's always different strategies for Mira, but you know, essentially it's going to be the double Mira. And so I have a feeling that Duzzy is going to be playing downstairs in the pulse inside the kitchen area. Rapid is going to also be roaming, and uh, yeah, so. As you can see, she's making her left. Mira holes there. Now, Mira has to be aware that there is a Twitch drone on, so she doesn't want her uh, walls to be taken down right away. Uh, I, he will, to, I'm pretty sure, take out the uh, the glass on the mirror. Yes, yeah, if you pop the little red bubble at the bottom, it, it just pops the mirror. Um, so, as I saw in the drone phase, Twitch is little icon was faded out so they did get one twitch drone they they killed one twitch drone so they only have to worry about one other one yeah but that that twitch drone could throw away their whole strat looks like rutgers university pretty uh pretty even on the sides they only have one character spread out oh yes taking out imagine very fast into the round the vigil gets taken out almost immediately at the start. Yeah, so that was a really good Attackers pick for Rutgers. You know, taking out that Rome presence where the Rome presence is essentially needed. So we have Jaeger also playing in VIP, trying to hold VIP by himself. And they're gonna have Thatcher and I believe they're gonna have Thermite push through. Twitch actually yeah. misses her drone throw, so she's forced to go from the first floor up with that drone. A little bit of a uh, pain to kind of bring her back up, but just a small little mistake. As you see, Toilet is repelled on the big window, and he's going to call out Thatcher inside of VIP. And he's going to... Sophia getting the pick on Rapid. Buddy coming out strong with that shot. Buddy pre-firing into, uh, sorry, theater, and trying to you know p pick off anyone peeking. You know, smoke. Ooh, smoke almost got that tricky. And JMB's pushing out and not getting the kill. As oh yes, pushes behind and goes for the pinch. Sees Miss Nautica. And gets the flick on Miss Nautica. Now it is a one v five. As Duzzy is downstairs. Or he's upstairs. Does he look like he's downstairs. 1v5 situation can't bring it out. Flawless round for Rutgers University. Very well executed. Imagine going down early, kind of putting St. Clair at a disadvantage, making maybe spreading them out a little bit too thin. Rutgers University able to pick them off one by one and take round three of this map. Yeah, so, you know, with Imagine going down early on that roam, it essentially cut off a lot of roam presence. And for the team to roam, it it's needed it it slows them down a lot now with a penthouse push it is hard because you can essentially just get in to sight right from outside and it it's hard to to roam on 
the side of the map that you can enter through outside. But, you know, Rapid did almost a perfect job on holding VIP until he was pushed from behind. He wasted a lot of time from that VIP push. Looks like Dokavi's out for uh, for Rutgers University, so St. Clair College needs to put their phones on silent or else they're going to hear that. They're, um, uh, they're going to hear them go off. Yeah, Dokavi is a, a nuisance. There's a lot of nuisances in this game. Um, you know, they have Echo, they have Legion. You know, there's just so many nuisances. And, and Dokavi is one of those where her ability is to give the defenders a phone call. And when you're defending or roaming, um, you get a phone call and you're trying to shut your phone off as well as roaming, it's, it's, it's pretty hard to do. Now, I was just kidding. You can't actually put your phone on silent, but that would be actually pretty OP if you could. Um, if you do stand in a mute jam and you do not get a kill, or sorry, you do not get a call. Okay, so but you can. We do, we do. There's no mute up for uh, St. Clair, so they don't have to worry about that on the side of Rutgers University. They're just going to be going for the spam calls. Yes, so Dokubi taking a little bit of health down, I believe, on a spawn team. So, Dubby playing Sunrise again. Gonna it's, hold Sunrise. It's droned out by the Zofia, and she tries to go for that peek and tries to get the kill, but doesn't have success. It looks like there's someone playing in blue. So essentially, they're gonna hold, they're gonna go for the same hold, waste as much time as they can with the the blue hold, the blue bar hold, and the Sunrise hold, and that just cuts off a lot of the the below destruction that they can cause. So as Sophia peeks into blue bar, she's not gonna find the vigil. But you know, Doe could be probably oh the vigil just or sorry not vigil Jaeger just got spotted out and tries to go for the pre fry through the window. But Sophia, buddy, is just going to wait for the peak. Concussion. Going for the concussion shot on the Jaeger. Oh yes, taking out JMBS and it's refried by Miss Nautica up. And that is even health. But Duzzy and Rapid both go down, so there's no presence on the uh, on downstairs. Both players holding upstairs. It's a two v four situation. Yeah, so imagine is gonna be holding a lot. Oh, and impacted below. Bud E getting a kill on Miss Nautica, and it is down to a one v four with Imagine. Imagine's all going off and taken out from the stairs by Buddy. Buddy. Buddy putting a lot of work for for Rutgers University. They did, you know, he was holding that angle in blue bar for a long time, waiting for that Dokubi to peek in and get that kill. And so essentially he was the wrong clear. And he was waiting, he was giving out the calls, and Amaru is not allowed to be picked, but switching off to the Nook. Ying Fuse cannot make up his mind, switching to every character he can. <laughs> Playing a little bit of a mystery here as Capteo comes out for Toilet, and Mozzie coming out for Imagine. That's a different pick. I haven't, we don't, we haven't seen Mozzie coming out, and Toilet switches over to Dokabi. Can't make up his mind all game. Being a little bit mysterious there. Yeah, so he, he doesn't want uh, casting to be easy. No, he, no, he doesn't. You know, he picks off any character he can, and then whatever character he ends up with, he just switches off. Keeping so. us on our toes. So yeah, that that Mozzie pick is going to cut off a lot can. of the droning, which, you know, the Rutgers University does do a lot of droning. So Mozzie is going to be a, 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 an essential part of this hold as they hold Puka in billiards again. And Jaeger is gonna set up his Jaeger devices behind the bar, and I'm gonna guess on main stairs so that nobody else gets grenaded, and anywhere really that anybody's gonna hold. And Duzzy's gonna be playing downstairs on Pulse with that cardiac sen sensor for call outs or even just to push anybody. So which drone is taken out for Uyez? And like you said, there's only one more left, so they only have to worry about taking out one more Twitch drone before they don't have to worry about it at all. Pretty, uh, pretty essential to get rid of those Twitch drones. Don't want to have that nuisance there. Echo waiting for a rotate from sight, and you know, Pulse picking up the cardiac, excuse me, the cardiac sensor. Does he? And gets he's realizing that there's a lot of people there, taking a lot of damage though early in the game, so he's down to about half health. 
as well as uh, Tack there. Tack is down to half health as well, about half health. Or, sorry, he's at about 70-ish health. So, both teams taking some damage, but, you know, Rutgers getting the advantage on the health margin. Imagine playing those, uh, the stair position, waiting for someone to come in. Knows that Duzzy was taking a lot of damage from that area, so waiting to see if somebody follows up with entering through that side. Thermite on the roof. We have OES pushing in. I don't know exactly where that was, but we have IQ attack playing inside kitchen, taking out the drones. Rutgers University playing it really slow and passive right now. Slowing it down from the start of the round where they did, they know they did a lot of damage, but maybe they don't want to play a little bit too aggressive. They want to, don't want to give up early pick. Now, Buddy is pushing through, or sorry, droning through Sunrise. He's going to drone out this um, pulse, and he's going to get the call out and push in. Now, as pulse plays in that office area, sees the drone, shoots the drone, and he's just going to keep playing it. So, we'll see. Ooh, almost getting the free fire. See, now, uh, Rutgers University pushing two people at once, getting the call off, and does he going down? I think he got taken out by the Dokabi. Yeah. So, you know, Toilet is, you know, just gonna push him uh, behind and get the kill, and then Tack taking out JM Beast and Zofia trying, uh, Buddy trying to go for the shots from the floor, but doesn't seem to get anybody right now. Maybe he's getting pinged out. I don't know. It seems like they're very, uh, they think there's somebody there. There's a lot of people that do sit in that corner, so pre-firing it is somewhat uh, a good idea. But there could be pings coming out as well. So Toki is going to go repel in this window. That SMG-12 has a lot of recoil. <laughs> so, uh, you know, IQ getting out of Jaeger devices. That's toilet not a good taking, getting taken out by Toilet again. Left. Toilet putting in a lot of work this round, but they're down to 10 seconds, so Diffuser's about to go down. That's Zofia going down too Rapid. Rapid with a good pick, but Diffuser, Diffuser does go down, and we have Rapid in a 1v4 situation. Doe could be at low health, Tack at about half health. And let's see if he can pull this off. That would be pretty insane if he does, and he can't. Rutgers University taking the third round in a row, going up 3-2 to two in this game. Oh, yes, just, you know, in sight, running around, just trying to get that pick on the 1v4, and essentially does, just because he knows he has th three other players on his team holding angles, so if he died, anybody else could pick it off. So, Rutgers taking the lead once in this, or so, for once in this game, and uh, Nook with on toilet, so we're going to see Nook, or possibly see Nook, uh, for the first, no, he, he does switches pick, off. He so. does pick a lot of characters. So you <laughs> can't be too sure. He's gonna go with Ying though in the end, and we got JM Beast on Legion. I think on the scoreboard I saw JM Beast with zero kills going into like round six. Maybe, uh, maybe some a uh, little bit of problems getting uh, countered with his uh, with his uh, ban the ban earlier in the match. Yeah, the the ban. I mean, it wouldn't play too much of a role Defenders on defense, yeah. but, you know, it, when they go on offense, it could probably play a huge role. But, um, you know, I've seen him die a lot Attackers from, the like, of a bomb. below and above. So, like, from bad angles, it's, it's hard to, you know, peek. Um, so, essentially, whoever's peeking at first gets the kill. And they're going to go back to kitchen service as they lost, sorry, lost upstairs. And does he on the Mozzie this time? So St. Clair Gaming losing three rounds in a row. How do you want to see them bring it back for round six? I just you know that Rome clearance the first, or sorry the Rome presence the first round was. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. There they won that because of the Rome presence. So imagine going for the spawn here, getting one and the diffuser. So imagine killing Parmy. And, you know, that's their fuser and their hard breach. So there is no hard breach this round. Crucial kill from Imagine early in the game. And as we hop onto Miss Nautica, it looks like she's picking up some camera angles, but camera's taking out. And 
we see a little bit of a, a slower diffuser hasn't been picked up actually by Rutgers University I don't think just, uh, just they're just taking their time right now yeah Rutgers University just picked it up switch but they're gonna try and still clear up that that roam as buddy and I believe it is Ooh, uh, sorry not oh yes it's uh Yang going up and pushing Yes, holding that angle outside of kitchen. Attack, going for some wall bang shots, not getting anything though. Oh yes, going to hop onto the grapple. But I think he hopped off of it. Yeah, so with this game, you can do a lot of fake repels. Yeah. So you can make the noise, but you don't actually have to do it. Oh, it looks like he ended up going to the roof anyways. Yeah. So that could be used for a lot of a lot of reasons for fake repels and then you you know quick peek a run out just in case they run out anything like that but you know pulse is going to be i believe he's going to be playing or is there there's is no pulse it just looked like there was a pulse the way he's sitting right there but uh, it's going to be a vigil so they're gonna they're gonna hard push him and as toilet gets to come imagine the one sitting in the bathroom and that's they're you know clearing out the room that's what they got to do and as you've seen as i was talking about they have more than one pushing the room they have one more than one person pushing the the roamers and that's because they're planning for someone to die they're waiting for someone to die so they can get that refrag you know they don't want them to die but, but just in case they do but they're ready for it yeah so rutgers university doing very well with their team coordination on that rolling out Yang realizing that there's a Jaeger ready to eat up his cabins. Taking out some roof records university, going for that up, uh, second level presence. They're really gonna shoot down from above. So Rutgers, uh, the IQ, you know, taking out the ADS so that Yang can throw her candelas in. As you can hear, the candelas are in. And Twitch just missing the peak on it. It's not a toilet. Taking out JMB, does it? Taking out TAC, but it's. Toilet refragging on Miss Nautica. So we have Duzzy and Rapid in a 2v3 situation against Five Bud, Uyes, and Toilet. Diffuser goes down. Rapid getting wall banged. So that's a 1v3 situation for Duzzy. Duzzy taking out one. Can he get the other two? As you can see, there's, there's one proned on the, diff on the sorry, diffuser. There's one above as well. So we'll see, see how he takes care of this. And Twi or sorry, Buddy e just holding a tight angle. And you know, if if Dusty tries to contest this, essentially he's not gonna get that kill. And the Zofia comes out and you know, Buddy Rutgers University that kill. with prime positioning with the crossfire on that. Very well done. Oh he Zofia himself. He had he hit fired. So you know, it's essentially the roamers are getting taken down and everybody is then pushing together. They push as a team, they kill as a team, they win as a team. You know, it's it's all it's it's a team game. You can't just, you know, run around and hope hope to get kills. We have looks like we have Ella coming out for a, oh yes daddy. Nope, switching over to pulse, tricked us again. Uh, but going into round seven we have both sides switching, so St. Clair's on attack and Rutgers University on defense. What uh, what do you want to see? Like, do you want to see a repeat from Rutgers holds on defense last side? Looks like they were in, they were in, uh, they had really good uh, defenses last round, last game. So they did a very very good job on defense with you know, f like I said, pulling the roamers from sight and you know, six picks from rook to rook. So they did a very well. Defenders, protect they your bombs hold people from sight and turn back upstairs just to waste more time. Because essentially, if there's no time, there's no plan. Yeah. And so if you waste a lot of time, you can't plant, and you really don't need anyone on site. But you need to have people on site because if they see that no one's on site, then they're just going to automatically push site. It looks like uh, Rutgers University going for not as many like roaming characters, a little, couple slower characters than usual. I think the, the fastest they have is Jaeger and Pulse. Yeah, so Jaeger and Pulse are probably going to be their roamers. And Legion could be a soft roam, you know, playing on those stairs and a little bit off site, but I don't expect to see him too off site. And so Bud E 
going for Attackers the ruined spawn peak. Looks like bomb. we have two people going for the spawn peak here. Toilet and Buddy. So Toilet going outside. For the run out, but he doesn't get anybody. St. Clair cautious, ready for the run out. Maybe heard the door go down, but he's laying down prone. About to get droned out. So he gets droned out, running away. They realize that their mission has failed. We'll get him next time. So Bud E having a suppressor on the MP5. Now the MP5 used to have a lot of damage and it got nerfed. And so putting a suppressor on it just adds a lot more, or sorry, a lot less damage. And you know, you gotta click your heads on that. Yeah. So Pulse with a shotgun sitting in Sunrise with Jaeger. So Jaeger's in Sunrise. Free fire to the door, but does not take any damage. Both teams at even health. Nobody's taken damage yet as we are hitting the two minute mark for this round. St. Clair going for the slow, po slow approach. Realizing that Rutgers University was willing to run out. Maybe they're still holding those tight angles. They don't know. Oh, yes, taking out JMBs with a shotgun. JMBs having a rough time this game. Still, I don't think he's picked up a kill. Have, not having a very uh, very good game, but Rutgers doing very well to uh, to nullify the effectiveness. All right, so Ash taking the Jagger, taking a lot of damage, and you know not really doing any other damage, but they're just pushing in. I, I believe they're pushing in one by one. So Buck's behind the Jagger now, and I believe that Jagger is going to rotate out of Sunrise. Yeah. Buddy going for some odd wall bangs. Hoping he can get something. Maybe he's getting gonna get blessed by uh, by the Rainbow Six Gods through the wall. But does he down to about no health practically? Like just a uh, just a tiny bit. I'd say maybe 20, 20 about, health. About 15, 20 health. Yeah. So as you can see, Rapid pushing in on I believe it is Buddy inside CC there, the service area. Buddy. Imagine getting a nutty kill on Buddy. Toilet refragging on Rapid though. As we see, uh, Tack taking out Dougie, Duzzy from the stairs. Imagine refragging on toilet. So that is a 2v3 situation for St. Clair. But there goes Hibana. And there goes Imagine. Oh, yes, Eddie with a 3k that round. And misfire with his gun after the round. It happens, you know, sometimes. Yeah, so there was a lot of blood that came off that pulse. So he hit, he hit his shots. But so the pulse with that shotgun is when he uses his cardiac sensor from below and you try and kill from below is really good the pulse up close is really good essentially really good really good so um uh oh yes daddy with 11 in three so he's you know getting a lot of kills as well as toilet and buddy Rutgers university very even across the board with kills saint Clair about the same but at like a lesser number and Blackbeard coming on JM Beast. Looks like he's about to six pick over to Nomad. And we have Mozzie on Rutgers University six picking over to Echo. So he did go back to that Defenders Blackbeard pick. Oh, he did? Yes. Attackers. Excited to see Blackbeard. Blackbeard's very good on this map. Good for those uh, grapple spots, but they are on first floor, so grapple spots might not have as much of an effect Attackers going into the. Bomb. Maybe he wants to pick off those roamers. Yeah, so, you know, every, they're going to play the kitchen uh, the kitchen site, so there probably won't be as many runouts as there would be on any other site, but there's still potential for a lot of runouts. So Nomad is a great pick for even rotation cutoffs for all the roamers. If, if you cut off a roamer in a room, they can't leave that room. They can leave the room, but they'll get air jabbed. And it'll Attackers give them the prompt the that they did get air jabbed and they can go for that kill. So Bud E holding an angle on the top of service door. Waiting for someone to run by. And he has the SMG 11. So if he shoots, I feel like it's going to recoil into the door and he might not get the kill. But we'll see what happens. As they go for a late read. Imagine. Yeah, there with it the is. pick on Buddy. So that, uh, that spawn peak not working in his favor. Imagine saying, psych, can't keep me with that spawn peak. Imagine saying, new. I already know that angle and I know how to contest it. So, 
Imagine getting the first kill. Now, let's see if they can capitalize on the, on the man advantage. Does he with a quick rush into Sunrise? Going for the shot from the door, trying to get maybe like a shot to the wall. Maybe he can get something, but probably just wants to open it up for some sight lines. JMB's about to drone out the pulse. So, pulse gets droned out. They know he's up top. So, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna push this pulse and he has a shotgun, so it's gonna be a hard push. And Paul's missing all his shots on a drone with a shotgun. It's not good, juking, Finally gets oh it. yes, around, breaking his ankles, causing him to reload so much. Yeah, so now they have control of upstairs, and they can, you know, push this like they uh, would. Does he control of the service center right there? Or main lobby. But does he should be ready for this. Does he they doesn't did. know Pulse is behind him. He reloads and Pulse with a shotgun. Does he doesn't know? And now it's down to a four. And it's refragged by Rapid. And there's the refrag. And you know that's essentially what they have to do. They have to think someone is gonna die so they can, they, they can get that refrag. No, I don't. I think does he should have been a little bit more aware of that they did drone out the uh, the Pulse as shots are exchanged over on those stairs. But the Miss Nautica getting headshot from Toilet in sight. So Tack is going down to about two health. And he's going to have a little peek hole in the bathroom. And so whoever pushes this door, you know, is just, oh. Getting wall banged, you know. Two health, no health. The pre-fire on the, on, the, on the ground is... Good enough to get the kill, so he's gonna push in. Echo Ooh. just missing the Unfortunate peak. timing for Echo, but he goes for the repeek and he's taken a lot of damage from Echo, the enemy player. Echo down to about 20 health, and there's also a uh, Blackbeard upside down repel on the window, getting some shots off, some health, and he's down. The attacker's bomb diffuser has been dropped. St. Clair down to 10, about seconds 10 seconds. Needs to get that defused, but both players going down, and we're down to a 1v1 Five situation with go. four seconds left. Toilet getting shot in the back, and St. Clair clutches up with about two seconds left in the round. So, you know, with Toilet not knowing that IQ was in kitchen, he definitely should not have pushed. Def uh, sorry, not the IQ, but the Jaeger should not have pushed to get his kills. You know, if they didn't have intel and he was just pre-firing the diffuser, okay. But not knowing where that, that last person is, it, it's it's a hard push. You know, because stuff like that happens where you lose the round. IQ being a little bit quiet in the back, waiting for it. Both players pushing into one side, going for the diffuse. And both players going down there. So maybe he thought he was going to go in for the third peak. But turns out he was right behind you and he wasn't there. So St. Clair clutching up to take a third round and we are there at down three to five going into round nine we see jmb's picking up the cap capito i think that's a that's a that's a reasonable pick you know taking off those sight lines with the smokes you know maybe they want to fire out some corners yeah you know capital on this site is is pretty can. good because they're going penthouse in theater and if you smoke off theater and they're playing inside theater you can get into the B site, which is Penthouse, pretty quickly and just hold on to the site and cut off the, uh, the roamer, or sorry, cut off the rotations and everything like that. We can also see a mute coming out on toilet, so uh, it's a it's a different pick than what we've so seen. So what do you uh, what do you want to see the mute kind of cut off here? Um, so mute is just someone so that you don't drone sight or drone your roamers who, whatever you want to uh, choose to so move for but with that mute it's going to be hard for them to know who's on site unless they they kill the new jammers obviously but with that pick they're going to have an extra shotgun and they're going to have an S uh, extra smg 11 especially with the tack the smoke with his shotgun and SMG-11. So they have essentially three shotguns. It looks like Pulse, Mute, and Spawn. It looks like Buddy faking the uh, the spawn peak, so maybe trying to get a little bit of knowledge on see if uh, St. Clair shoot back through that hole and see where they're coming from. So Toilet not having a shotgun 
so they sent they just have two shotguns but vigil wasting his you know ability on this drone he and gets, gets wall banged. Wall banged no, he so didn't get wall banged. Imagine killed him from the, the roof. Okay, okay. As he rotated out. Imagine with the early pick, St. Clair at the advantage early in the round. Let's see how they can take this advantage to a win. So now Smoke's going to hold a long angle on service. So if anyone enters through that service, they're going to have a lot of angles to peek. As Buck enters through, uh, sorry, Aquarium and Capital is going to drone out VIP, Long Haul, 90 Haul, everything like I that. I don't think they can get the drone away, can they? Yeah, they took it. Looks like they took out the mute charge. Yeah. They call out the VIP, but not in that angle. Does he going for the wall bank, but there's nobody there? Rapid as well on the roof, trying. Oh, sees his foot, so he's going to try and get the, the, the kill, but just. Fire. And you know, Capital shooting through the window, just knocking down a little bit of health, about 25 health off of the Mew. And C4 onto Miss Nautica, dropping the diffuser in Hookah. And Pulse is rotating up with the shotgun. Slow going with the Capital, but not enough. So Pulse is just going to sit on this diffuser. He calls it out. And IQ is essentially, he's just going to rotate out. He's going to get killed from Duzzy on the Ash holding Aquarium. Excellent job by St. Clair to, uh, to single out that uh, the pulse there, you know, so he doesn't get any more picks with that shotgun. Very nice to see that they're finally cracking down on that roamer. Yeah, so they're just going to push in. Through. They don't know anyone from the penthouse and he dies from penthouse and rapid getting the refrag but, but smoke still smoke in the is corner. still going to waste a, a lot of time with this smoke getting the getting kill, one kill unimagine slow peeking tech into there and st Clair clutches up again with a nice 1v1 from rapid to take down tag and now that's four to five for st Clair. St. Clair slowly bringing themselves back into the game. Nice to see. It's starting to get a little electric in the room. Nice to see some competition coming in. It's a very close game. Yeah, so like I said, I, I guess it was going to be a really, really close game because there's a lot of fraggers on both teams. But, you know, with with uh, sorry St. Clair back in this game, it is a really close game, especially even in kills, you know, Everybody has essentially the same amount of kills except for the top two fraggers for Rutgers with 14 and 11. So, Caviar coming out on, oh yes. So, we're gonna see another Roamer come out. A little bit more sneaky than most characters. Caviar can get that uh, interrogation off, then give up all the enemy positions. Echo, six pick and an Echo. Yeah. So they tend Attack to do that a lot. To and six pick the same character. A lot of people just pick the six pick to say, hey, I got the six pick, you didn't. But, um, so yeah, oh yeah, study. We're gonna have to, you know, see St. Clair push as a team and not alone. And Legion taking a little smidgen of health off of himself while making rotate holes, but not enough to affect anything. So, Caviera going on her her roam journey and Echo setting up all his you know drones and shields and Toilet I believe is going for fake spawn peak but Buddy I believe is going to finish it off for him Now you say tax that little health isn't going to come anything but I'm going to call you out when it comes down to a 1v1 and that that small health is going to come out Yeah it's a lot That small health does mean a lot but you know, early, early round, it doesn't really mean much. Echo, Harmy going for the spawn peak, but nobody home. So, Rook looks like he's going to make another little hole there. Trying to catch St. Clair out early. But they're ready for it. They're shooting back. They're like, hey, I see you. Don't so do that stuff. Caviera sitting in penthouse as Jaeger getting a kill on Duzzy. So, Toilet getting the opening kill. Like Duzzy wasn't ready for somebody to be there, but perfect timing for Toilet to get that shot off on Duzzy. Yeah, that was that was a very very lucky shot there. Um, I don't even think he saw him. I think he just saw the the barricade break and him just pre-fire through the door. So as you can see, Cav is 
trying to break the vase. I believe she's going to go try and sit in that little vase area, which is a pretty good spot to sit. But imagine on the grenade, I believe, from above. And he gets yeah. the frag off, too. So imagine killing Parmy on the grenade through the drone hole. So when you sit there, you need a Jagger. JMB's going down. I actually think I heard somebody say Kobe when he threw that. <laughs> Most likely. But, uh, you know, JMB's getting picked up. So it is back to a 4v4. Toilet roaming around first floor, trying to get off some, uh, some early picks. Imagine taking out Toilet, though. So that's St. Clair at the advantage right now. 4v3 situation. So only if they had another grenade would they be able to kill that Rook. Sitting in the grenade spot. Um, and we got Imagine pushing the balcony. Jambi's droning for him. I wonder if they're going to be ready for this because they know they killed somebody there already. Oh, they are. And Imagine getting shots off. And he climbs over and Imagine gets the kill. But at the same time, oh yes, Daddy takes out Rapid. So Caviar actually running the shotgun. The Spaz 15 overpowered. You know, you just keep shooting. You keep shooting. It does so much damage. So JMB is taking out attack, and oh yes, Daddy was so, so little health, and you know, they are on site. Miss Nautica with the only one being full health. So let's see if they can get the plant down here and hold it. 1v3 situation, but you have Caviar with the most overpowered shotgun in the game and the most overpowered pistol in the game. Attackers are Oh, he getting, Cavi gets getting the one kill on the person with the most health. But Diffuser goes down, so time's ticking. Time is ticking. It does take seven seconds to, oh, almost imagine, almost with the wall, or sorry, floor bang. But Cavi just, you know, sitting downstairs waiting for any pushes, trying Defender to play this slow. But Defender has been discovered. Looks almost like, hitting the impact. Looks like all three characters have pretty similar health. And Caviar taking a lot of time to push up. Not even on second floor yet. Finally gets the second floor. And I don't think she can even defuse. No, she does not have enough time to defuse. So essentially right now is the only time to get a kill. So imagine with a four kills this round. Imagine just showing them who's boss this round. And St. Clair bringing it up to a 5-5 five -five situation. We have a close game. This is this is insane. Yeah, 5-5, five, five, and I don't think we go to overtime. I was just about to ask that question, I but I, I agree with that. I don't think there's overtime in the rule set right now. So is it six kills, win, six, six round wins, or is it first to um, seven still? I believe it's first to seven. Okay. We have Hibana coming out. We have so, Hibana coming out and Amir coming out on Buddy. So they're gonna, I think they're holding that one site up top again. Penthouse and theater, they're gonna hold with the Mira. Um, you know, that's essentially where Mira's played. Um, you, can, you can kind of play Mira in the kitchen. It's not as good here. So, you know, setting up the Mira. Reinforcements. Rutgers University also taking out a dock, so maybe getting that extra health off. A lot of characters went down to low health last round. Maybe he wants to top them off. Maybe, uh, you know, if, if Legion impacts himself again, he can give him that extra Yeah, boost. that extra health. I told you that would come in handy, you know? Yeah. So I don't think it would have came in too much. No. But, you know, that extra health, you know, does. You see, do um, actually, Parmy on the Legion this time not impacting himself yes yes he plays the impacts are very very smart so um yeah but we'll see how how well they, they push this misanka you know getting default cams mira and her voice lines um and jaeger making a line of sight i believe in the doing a lot of damage to those walls okay so Parmy is going to be playing the long angle, essentially, and there's going to be a lot of presence in not penthouse, but theater. It doesn't look like they have a lot of they have a lot of roamers. Does he entering sunrise, taking that early uh, advantage into the first floor, it, looking for some roamers? It looked like they had four people on on uh, theater site for a second. 
Oh, they have the one roamer in, uh, sorry, main lobby. And the rest look like they're upstairs. So essentially there's only one roamer. We have Jaeger roaming in the, on the first floor. Getting the call is JMB taking a long angle. So as JMB holds this angle, does he taking out toilet earlier? So that's the roamer gone with minute 30 left. So he didn't, as you said, you know, the roamer wants to waste that time. He did not waste any time. St. Clair College making sure they get rid of him early. Yes. So, you know, does he pushing into the bathroom? And I believe there's going to be a uh, smoke holding a long angle from upstairs in the hatch, which he doesn't know about. So we'll see how they push this. But, you know, the rest of the team is on site. So they have... Does he taking out Buddy? Does he taking out Buddy? That's the mirror down. So they essentially have free roam of all the map. And they're calling out the shield. Sees the peak, but does not Does get he it. taking down by tack? Trying to get another angle, as imagine. Almost gets the gets the kill off. And that shield coming in handy to make sure that no shots come off. So as you can see, the ping by JMB. So they're giving the call out. And... Miss Nautica pushing up the stairs, I believe. And we have Rapid backing up Miss Nautica, it looks like. Going for the, the far the flank. Guy. No, he's gonna rotate back over to site. So we have Imagine back. pushing into Hall of Fame. And we also have Miss Nautica opening up the hole in Oh yes, taking out Imagine. Side, site in Penthouse. So, oh yes, getting Imagine. And so that is... Crucial, JMB's JMB getting, getting the replay. Nice shot on Oh Yes. In seven seconds, they have to get this planner off. They're running out of time. I don't think they have time to get the, do they? Yes, they. the plant stops after the, or sorry, the time stops when the plant is going down. So they do get the so plant down, but Tac takes out JMB's, takes out Miss Nautica, and taking takes. out Rapid. Tac with the three piece to give them the advantage, take him to round six, and Gun misfiring at the end there. So, that was a nice clutch. That was insane. Attack on the on the rotate, which Nomad and, and Gridlock are for, but as you see, Gridlock is banned. So, you know, there was no Nomad, there was no rotate control, so he just rotated around, got the kill on VIP, got the kill on Miss Nautica inside Penthouse, and then also got the kill on... Um, sorry, rapid on the IQ. So when that happens, you just got to know for next time. Have a have a drone, have a claymore, or anything like that. That SMG on smoke, putting in work. And we have the caviar. Nope, switches the pulse. Oh yes, yeah, Daddy, almost taking out the pulse, the uh, cavi, but switches the pulse. Taking out that shotgun. That shotgun came in handy for him in those those rounds, getting a lot of. Uh, frags out for him oh yes daddy liking his shotguns oh yes. shotguns on cav shotguns on pulse i'd be surprised if he played a shotgun on rook and dock but you know there's a lot of shotguns to go around so Attackers um, need to locate but pulse and is, a, is a is a great operator for intel as you can see they don't really have intel they just have the, the mute to stop the attacker's intel, uh, the lesion for denial, entry denial, and the Jaeger to stop the grenades. And smoke is plant denial. So essentially, Pulse is the only intel operator that they have. And Toilet, looking like he's going to go for another spawn peak. Just putting down the mute charge. I see smoke with the shotgun as well as Pulse. Rutgers University really enjoying the shotgun play. So see if those shotguns come in handy when while well, they're on match point here. Oh yes, taking it going up on top of the uh, that little hole the in the wall. The cubby, the cubby is what I call it. So oh yes, and toilet roaming and Bud E all kind of roaming close together, which. This is kind of what you want, but you don't want them too, too close. You want the refrag there, but you don't want, you know, two people getting picked off really quickly. So, 
Pulse playing inside off of offices and now moving into blue bar with his cardiac skin sensor trying to get intel uh, sorry Jaeger playing inside sunrise and then the rest I believe are on site so as Miss Nautica drones out sunrise calls out the pulse and someone else drops down with there's two characters in sunrise both droned out and St. Clair being a little bit cautious to push in there Cavadao putting down his... Get, that's two frags for St. Clair. JM Beast and Rapid taking out Oh Yes, Daddy, and Toilet. So both roamers are out of the question. So we'll see if Jaeger... I believe Jaeger was also on roam. And I don't know if Smoke dropped down, but I believe he did. So we'll see if Buddy rotates back up and see what happens now. Then they have the two-man advantage. And... Parmi getting the kill on Rapid. Smoke making some more shotgun holes for him to throw his smokes into. Looks like St. Clair up uh, on a 4-3 to three advantage for players on the map. And it's slowed down a little bit, you know, calm down. It's a little bit hectic for a second, you know, get those two frags and then the refrag by... Uh, by Rutgers Bomb University, but St. Clair taking their time to approach this one. I don't think he realizes there's someone in the corner here. Yeah, I, I don't think JMB's knows he got out. quick peek. Buddy getting a nice pick on JMB's to bring it back to even odds. And Tack taking out Imagine, so that's down to two players, 2v3. Situation. And Miss Nautica going for the stun. Stuns herself. So. Miss Nautica stuns herself. Duzzy getting blown away by Tack in the shotgun. So now it's down to a 1v3 with Miss Nautica. Miss Nautica in 1v3 to keep her, keep her team alive. Going up on Repel as Jaeger doesn't hear it. But I believe he does now. And he's just going to hold inside the smoke, taking damage. And there going goes for the peak, but it's not a Rutgers University taking map two, and that's the match, I think. Down 2-0 uh, for Rutgers University. Excellent showing from them. They uh, they showed that they are strong between both maps, but St. Clair showed a lot of promise on Coastline. That was a very close map. Great work for uh, St. Clair College to bring it back and keep it really close. Yeah, so, you know, Rutgers taking it 2 nothing. Seven, I believe it was seven nothing and seven five. Um, so kills on each side here with double digits on everybody except for Parmi for Rutgers. And you know, everybody had spread out except for Imagine with 13 kills. So the Parmi. second game was a, it was a lot closer um, than the first, but you know. Second game was an absolute frag fest except for Parmi who was kind of like hopped in a little ba backpack there. You know, the team just like carried him around. You know, and you but can, it's you whatever. You know, he was probably getting a lot of uh, call outs. You know, calling yeah. out those. I didn't see how many assists he had, but intel is the game. If you have intel, you win the game. No, not essentially win, but you have a lot better chance of winning the game. And so he could just be sitting on a cam giving call outs. Aside from the score for map one, that was an extremely accelerating match. You know, like the score doesn't tell the story because there was a lot of close rounds in game one. But game two, it was electric. You know, St. Clair keeping them on their feet, keeping it close. Nice game in game two, and but can't come out on top. Rutgers University taking both games. They're showing their showing their strengths and showing that they're hot right now. Game two coming down to a nail biter. But, you know, Rutgers University coming out on top. So the next R6 game, I believe, is Friday. And so uh, we're starting a new league on Friday. So we'll see how well we do in that league as well. So tune in to the Friday stream, and that will be all from us. Uh, I am Braden Hyperkeo. And I am Seymour. Thank you for coming out to our stream. And that'll be all for the night. Stay tuned for more on a future day.
Hellcat. Hellcat. <laughs>